Dear students, today we will discuss about the origin of feces. Very important point. Feces are defined as ectothermic, joy bearing, aquatic vertebrates, breathing with gills and swimming with paid fins. These are the basic aspects, basic characteristics of feces, and they are the first granthostomes. When we talk about the first fish, the first fish is climateous. I have mentioned here the example. It is a placoderm, means plate skinned fish. It is commonly called a spiny shark. It was a small fish with a few inches long. You can see it had a heterocycle tail. This is the heterocycle tail. You can see two dorsal fins, one and one, two dorsal fin. You can see here and uh, one anal fin. Then the when you talk about the dorsal fin to dorsal one anal and a pair of pelufins. You can see here are the pelufins. Now it was covered by dermal armor of rhombic scales. It had upper and lower jaws, mouth, mouth bearing jaws. They were the first nathostomes. The upper jaw was fused with cranium. The teeth were present only in the lower jaw. It showed auto diastolic jaw suspension and operculum covered the gills. You can see this is the operculum. The primitive fish originated in Silurian period of Paleogenic era, that is about 400 million years ago. The primitive fish appeared in the water. What events occurred in the origin of fishes? The origin of fishes involved three major events. We can say origin of jaws, origin of paired fins, and origin of internal ear. When we talk about the origin of jaws, this figure it is showing the part of jaws, the third gillars develop into the jaw. This is the gillars which later on develop into the jaw. You can see the first the agnathus condition, second the gathostom condition, and third the gathostom condition hypo high mandibular arch helps in the jaw suspension. The jaw developed from the gill arches of the jawless vertebrates. The osteodomes cephalopsis had as many as 10 gills. The gill arches were supported by such kind of uh, shape bones with the point directed backwards. During the course of evolution, one or two anterior gills disappeared. The third arch changed into the upper and lower jaws. You can see the third arch. When we talk about the origin of uh, paired fins, the paired fins originated simultaneously with the jaws. The origin of paired fins is explained by the fin fold theory. According to this theory, the paired fins of fishes originated from continuous fin folds as it was present in some fossil jawless vertebrates such as Gemotius. You can see during the course of evolution, these fin folds are broken into small fillets as seen in Climatius. Later, the intermediate fillet disappeared, leaving the paired pelvic and pectoral fins. The fins helped in the effective locomotion. Or the internal ear, as the paired fins appeared for quick movement, the internal ear appeared for maintaining equilibrium. When we discuss about the origin and evolution of osteothes, they were the first phase. You can see the osteothes bonifices originated in the early Devonian period from acanthodian placoderms. From the time of their origin, they diverged into three groups, namely, as we discussed in my previous talk, Dipnoi, then the Crossopterygii, and the Actinopterygii. The Dipnoi and the Crossopterygii are grouped into Sarcopterygii, which later gave rise to amphibians. The Actinopterygii evolved into three groups, namely Chondrostei, Holostei, and Teleostei. Let's talk about the origin and evolution of the condithes. It was some very important point about the osteothes. Now the condithes. You can see condithes are the cartilage fishes. The 
endoskeleton is made up of cartilage. They originated from the stego cilage since placoderms. They appeared in the early Devonian period. The cartilage faces appeared at a stage somewhat later than that of bony faces. So the cartilage skeleton is not a primitive one, but the bony skeleton of osteoderm, placoderm, and bony faces is truly primitive. The cartilage skeleton originated from bony skeleton of neoteny. Every last point you, you have to mention specifically the cartilage skeleton originated from bony skeleton of neoteny. So here we can have by studying all these slides, the we can have the idea about the origin of fishes. I hope you all understood well this topic. Thank you. Thank you very much.